In this video, we'll discuss radiation and how it relates to firmography. So when we look at the word firmography, we can see that it relates to heat. In fact, it's a technique used to measure radiant heat and detects variations in surface temperatures. So say for example, we have a horse. When we use equipment that gives us an inflared image of the horse, this is what we see. There are areas that are warmer and cooler as indicated by the color scale on the side. So you can see that the mane and the tail are green which are cool and this makes sense since they don't produce heat. Let's jump now to an example. First, we need to understand what we mean by heat transfer by radiation from a given area. When we're talking about radiation, we mean the emission of radiation into the atmosphere by an object at a temperature T. To understand this, say we have a lizard. The lizard gets radiation from the sun and the lizard emits radiation into the atmosphere in the form of heat. Now that we know this, we can go back to answer the question. To compare emitted power, we use Stefan's law. This is an equation that relates emitted power to emissivity, temperature, area, and a constant. For this example, we're going to be using human skin at different temperatures, and since it's the same object, we're going to have the same emissivity and area. When we make a ratio and compare the two temperatures, emissivity and area cancel out. So you can see that we're just left with temperatures. Notice that it's in Celsius, and we need to convert this to Kelvin. So to convert Kelvin from Celsius, we need to first know that 0 degrees Celsius is 273 Kelvin. So to get Kelvin from Celsius, all we need to do is add 273 Kelvin to our temperature. This gives us 308 Kelvin and 305 Kelvin, and we can work with this. When we plug the values in, you see we get a fraction, but we want percentage. We're going to have to do some conversion, so be sure to pay attention. What we do is that we want the percentage change. So to get the change or increase, we take our original temperature minus our new temperature. This gives us a decrease number. We divide this decrease number by our original temperature and times it by 100% to get a percentage. And for this example, we get 4%. Here's a similar question. Up to this time, a small area of landscape is emitting radiation at different temperatures. We can do exactly like before, being sure to first convert to Kelvin. I'll let you apply the percentage increase on your own. You should be getting 19% if you've done the conversion correctly. So that's it. Hopefully this helped in understanding the concept of firmography. 